welcome friends now we will discuss about conventional time get protection scheme this i just want to explain you this scheme that it will be important when you will be understanding permissive overage transfer trip scheme and permissive under reach transfer trip schemes a conventional conventional time step distance protection is illustrated in the figure one of the main disadvantage of the scheme is that the instantaneous zone one protection at each end of the protected line cannot be set to cover the whole of the feeder length and is usually set to 80% this leaves two end zones each being about 20% of the feeder protection length fault in these zones are cleared in zone one time by the protection at one end of the feeder and in zone 2 typically 0.25 to 0.4 seconds by the production at the end of the feeder so here you can see the zone 1 uh, station A this is the zone 1 which is 80% of the line line is between line length is between A and B so if there is a fault between A and B you can see okay let's explain you why we are not uh, taking a zoom 100% of the line between length between A and B so that if there is a fault between line A and B it would trip uh, in zone 1 and zone 1 is set to 0 millisecond that is instantaneous so 20% is kept for the error relay error CT error and because the arc impedance or the ground impedance is, is very well in some cases so in order to prevent the mall operation because due to this fa these factors sometime the relay tend to underreach and sometime relay tend to overreach so with the experience it's came to know that this underreaching is from 10 to 15 percent so uh, the length and overreaching of 10 to 15 percent so what does it mean if we keep set the zoom one up to 100 percent between a and b and if there is a fault near the breaker here within the 5 percent of the line the relay here zoom one might here overreach because of the error factor of the CT error VT error or variable arc resistance it might overreach and it might possible that the relay at station A might trip in zone 1 which is not required it will increase instability so what we have done here is in the protection system when we are doing the setting calculations we are keeping zone 1 to 80 to 85 percent so we are making sure that this breaker should only trip if there is a fault between A and B it should not trip if there is a fault between B and C or uh, the breaker at the other line if, if, if for example if there is a fault on the line beyond station B so by doing this if there is a fault after 80 percent for example you can see F the breaker here at the station B will trip in zone 1 instantaneous where is the breaker at station A here you can see it will trip in zone 2 and zone 2 will be 250 to 400 milliseconds depending upon the system protection settings of that country I have seen mostly 300 and 350 milliseconds and in this case this breaker will open immediately whereas the breaker here will trip with a time delay so the disadvantage would be in this case so will be that the this uh, fault will be feed by the system unnecessarily for a 300 millisecond for example 
and it will make a system unstable it will reduce the life of the generator or, or and the system and the and, on the and the transformers because each time any equipment which is feeding fault it is reducing the life and also it will reduce the quality of the power supply because each fault when it's feeded the voltage there will be interference or there will be quality issues in the voltage and the current so these are all the issues that are not required so this is the example of credit protection so just again i'm explaining that what is required here is if there is a fault between a and b the relay should isolate the fault at each end immediately so theoretically we have to we should keep zone 1 to 100 percent but due to error different error like ct error relay error our competence is variable here we are keeping the margin of 15 to 20 percent and keeping the zone to 80 to 85 percent zone 1 but that result in that at one end if the fault is beyond 80 percent the one breaker trips immediately the breaker at the other end trips at 200 and 250 to 400 milliseconds so this is the example of gate protection for example if the time if the fault is after b uh, the b uh, the b relay will trip in zone 1 if this is not trip because of any reason the relay is not healthy then in that case relay at station A will trip in zone 2 which is again 250 to 400 milliseconds and similarly if there is a fault just after C then the C should trip first and if the C, C station C relay is failed to trip and station B will trip in zone 2 and if station B is again failed to trip then station A will trip in zone 3 and so on so this this is the example of graded protection so this is not the unit protection unit protection means if there is a unit for example here we consider the line as a unit so if there is a fault on the unit the both end of the unit should trip immediately this is the type of unit protection conventional time graded distance protection this situation cannot be tolerated in some applications for two reasons the condition we are discussing here is so for example if there is a fault at f the station b will trip immediately where station a will trip with a time delay of 250 milli to 400 milliseconds so this can situation cannot be tolerated in some applications for two main reasons fault remaining on the feeder for zone 2 time may cause the system to become unstable unstable means because of if this is a huge fault so then in that case and the there will be a power swing and it might result in tripping of the breakers further where the high speed auto closing is used the non simultaneous opening of the circuit breaker at both end of the faulted section result in no dead time during the auto recloser cycle of the fault to be extinguished and for ionized gases to clear this may cause in the possibility that transient fault will cause permanent lockout of the circuit breaker at each end of the line so even where instability does not occur the increased duration of disturbance may give rise to power quality problems and may result in increased plant damage so this is very simple it will obviously increase instability and the power quality will be poor if you keep on feeding the fault there might be the voltage dips and frequency dips but the thing that we need to understand for example the fault is at f this breaker will trip immediately whereas this breaker will trip for example after time delay of 300 milliseconds so it means that at um, there is an arc as where, where there is a fault there is an arc 
so this arc can only be finished if both hand breakers are open so if this breaker is open immediately and this breaker at station A trips at after 300 or 400 milliseconds the arc will be continued free up to 200, 300 and 400 milliseconds depending upon the setting here zone 2 setting so after this time delay the arc ex extension will start that's called as death time so in this case the death time will be very high so you are not able to after to close the line uh, with uh, before the death time so if one breaker is open immediately and the second breaker is open with a time delay the artery closer death time is increased because when this breaker is open after even for example 100 milliseconds when arc is completely extinguished if the time delay of zone 2 is 400 and 100 milliseconds we are keeping it for the fire extension completely so 300 to 400 milliseconds will be the dead time and we are not able to or to reclose the breaker so in that case again we are delaying the auto reclosing and we are delaying the stability of the system so this is another example that we don't want to accept this condition so what is the solution for this so there are permissive schemes that we have discussed will give solution to this problem that are permissive that could be permissive over dish transfer tip scheme, permissive under dish transfer tip scheme uh, or the blocking scheme will reduce the dead time and reduce the fault feeding time that we will understand. So I have you, I hope that you have understand the concept of time grips production scheme and you have understood the concept of dead time and what is the, why we are keeping the zone up to 80% but not 100% and why it is not tolerable that we should allow on the extra high voltage high, high voltage network is gated protection schemes so let's now discuss uh, further about the uh, other permissive schemes thank you very much